Hello my beautiful soul tribe, welcome back to my channel, this is Neetu. Today's pick a card reading is going to be about your past, present and future. Alright, so we will be talking about your future but before we head to your future, we will um, uh, discuss a little bit about your past, what happened in your past, where are you presently, what is going on in your life currently as we speak and then we will be talking about your future, where you are headed. Alright, so this is the past, present, future reading and I have three piles for you, pile number one two and three go ahead and select and uh, i will be shuffling the tarot cards as we speak and intuitively pick up the messages because setting up a pile wasn't really ideal for this particular reading so uh, i will be shuffling the cards um, along with you as we speak uh, when we get into your pile all right so go ahead uh, and select which were pile you are drawn to one two or three i will be starting with group number one now Welcome group number one. If you have selected this particular pile with this backing of the oracle card, this reading is for you. I'll be shuffling the tarot cards as we speak and we will pull the cards for your past, present, future and we will see uh, what is that we have to, uh, you know, understand about where you are headed um, uh, in the future. All right. So um, this is going to be your past. This is present and this is going to be your future i will be pulling some more cards to a uh, little bit elaborate on what is that they are trying to tell with raider weight smith tarot so your past your present your future here we go all right okay so we have queen of swords and uh, three of pentacles in the past and in the present position we have four of wands and king of wands that's amazing and for future we have page of cups and the sun this is amazing the spread looks amazing for you group number one the past um it looks like in the past you were being a little uh, guarded like you uh, weren't ready to step into the leadership position you were skeptical about your ideas visions and uh, uh, probably about your talent in general like you you were always guarded like you were not letting anybody in to even help all right with this three of uh, pentacles this is about taking help this, this is about internship this is about apprenticeship this is about seeking guidance and advice from others but however queen of swords she is always guarded she doesn't let anybody inside of her inner circle to guide her to help her because she has been betrayed many times she has been taken advantage of many times so now she has reached a point where she is always um uh, like very vigilant who whom she will trust and uh, the drawing the boundaries and things like that but probably in the past due to all that people um sort of betrayed you or taken advantage of you you were very guarded or at least you were being hostile towards yourself and others or probably were not allowing anybody else uh, to your close circle uh, and you were closely guarding yourself and however the things are getting changed right now as we speak you are sort of understanding the importance of co-creation importance of letting people in to help you because you cannot do everything on your own you need people to support you need people to really look after you sometimes you know when you're not well uh, you will have to rely on your close uh, family or friend to be there for you to to boil that soup uh, or, and and bring uh, that warmth and love into your life like you are letting your guard down and four of wands is giving me the understanding of community like you are getting prepared to open yourself up to let people in to your life into your inner circle and um, now you're sort of in this king of wands and this four of wands energy where um like you know what what is that you want out of a particular relationship uh, maybe in the past you you were allowing everybody to walk all over you um, hence this hostility or this energy of um 
of not feeling really good about being in your element but now you're becoming confident you're understanding um, your energy you understand your uh, vibrational signature you understand what is that you want out of a relationship and you are also setting boundaries and um, and you're no longer afraid to let people in to your uh, into your life to it it could be just friends you you know like no, not a romantic relationship probably it could be just a simple friend. friendship or just generally seeking help whenever you think that you can't keep keep going any further now this energy of hostility uh, or or generally feeling um, like you have to protect yourself like you will have to guard yourself like closed off like your heart was closed off and now you are preparing to let people in and uh, uh, take help if need be and uh, getting ready to to socialize to get back to being uh, okay again to 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 enjoy life so you are sort of loosening up you are sort of uh, feeling yourself again because of all the hardship or the problems or the betrayal probably uh, has really taught you uh, to to be this um person who understand themselves before let anybody in and take advantage of them so you are in this process of transitioning empowering and uh, allowing people to come into your life and socialize and get together and look at the future we have the sun going on here we have the sun and page of cups this is the new energy coming in this could be your community this would, this could be your soul tribe um or or this is simply um um creativity is what i'm hearing maybe you are getting into a creative project or creative endeavor with page of cups like you want to embark on the journey that you believe is meant for you and you are taking that path you are taking that route and you are going to meet the like minded people who are going to support you who who are going to um help you get into the next level help you get into the a uh, place where where you really feel ab absolutely in your element which will allow you to grow which will allow you to thrive and meet the like minded people and form the community of your own um so so i'm seeing a lot of mingling and socializing and you becoming absolutely good in communication the way you express so your heart is opening up to better possibilities and thanks to the past which because it really taught you how to be you all right so you got to be thanking your past because it really helped uh, you to recognize your true energy to recognize your truth and now you're walking in your truth and you'll be meeting the right kind of people who is going to help you who is going to uh, improve you who is going to better you uh, than you already are right now and that is amazing to meet such people who who are going to empower you all right you may meet a mentor you may meet uh, the the soulmate that who understands your past and acknowledge and accept uh, you all right so let's pull a couple of oracle cards to to talk more about your future yeah time for a nap <clears throat> yeah blessed wow that is so cool mending so uh, yeah what i'm hearing for you group number 1 is you have done a lot of work on yourself you have taken your own time and this blessing is coming your way of becoming or walking in your path like you're mending the old relationships uh if if it is if that is what you want to do or mending a relationship with yourself is what i'm hearing more than the relationship with somebody else outside of you uh, so you're sort of um understanding yourself better you your self worth is improving your your um your self love is sort of um 
getting refined like you are understanding your importance you are understanding how worthy you are to receive that authentic love and the people that you deserve who are going to help you to move forward or to simply be there for you just to smile or just to drink that cup of coffee or a beer i don't know what you love but yeah that is the kind of energy that i'm getting you are about to be you know like getting into this blessed blissful state and number 22 and uh, this is the this This is your year of empowerment. You are moving towards empowering yourself. You are moving towards mending the old uh, bonds, if if that is what you want, or generally mending the relationship with yourself. And if you need, take a nap. Re- just relax. Pat on your back. Reward yourself. Take take yourself out for or uh, for something that that you have been postponing it for a very long time because you have earned it. You you deserve this break for all that you have endured so far. Um, there is about to be this blessing and the new community or new soul tribe, new people, new energy in general, new creative projects. So newness. You are attracting this new energy. into your life all right so one last card okay we have the spring song now is the time to start your life development plan if you are not sure just ask the angels for guidance yes spring song so this is the year this is going to be your year of spring like throughout the year the blessings will be sprinkled all over your 2022 uh, with this bright beautiful sun shiny energy because you deserve it because you have done the work because you have been um uh, really taking care of yourself and this is what your future looks like like a spring time now is the time to start your brand new life all right and the angels are there to always assist you help you and guide be guide you throughout your journey right yeah that's all i'm getting for you group number 1 i know this is a short reading and it did not uh, narrow down it to any single particular area of your life but in general this is what they are talking about your overall improvement as a human being right as as getting into the next version of you you and that means in every area of your life the impact is going to be on every area of your life yes amazing i i am ab- absolutely happy for you if you have liked the reading please subscribe to my channel see you in my next video love you all take care bye bye Welcome group number 2. If you have selected this packing of oracle card, this reading is for you. So uh, let's shuffle and pull some cards for your past, present and future. So this is going to be your past. This is your present. And this is your future. I'll also be pulling a card from rider with smith deck your past your present and your future okay so let's get started so for your past i have three of swords and the devil energy and for your present I have the world and 3 of pentacles and for your future I have the high priestess and the king of wands yeah the devil energy and 3 of swords energy for you in the past um 3 of swords obviously it is indicating some sort of a heartbreak um uh, you probably were in a sort of relationship where it was very egoistic the other person was very dominating or that really took a toll on you in the past this really uh, sort of crushed your soul that's too harsh but yeah that is what i'm hearing it sort of crushed your soul and did not allow you to be you uh, it it stopped you from being yourself you were always being manipulated into um or yeah i'm hearing manipulated and it wasn't good it was a very hostile situation of a very dominating this could be an addiction for some of you you have been dealing with some sort of recovery from addiction as of now but uh, that is for very few people but otherwise i'm seeing here your um 
lowest point in the past where you couldn't go any further you couldn't take this relationship any further or you couldn't take this job any further like you had to make amends you you had to take some sort of decision in the past which really helped you yeah the world you ended something in the past all right which really crushed your soul which did not uh, allow you to express and be yourself and the world is indicating that you ended something in the past and you started a new journey this is like internship up a uh, sort of energy where you started learning more about yourself uh, and this is currently happening you are in the period of transition you are still healing you are still recovering you are still finding ways to find balance you are still understanding what exactly you want out of life out of relationship out of job which were area that has really caused you so much of hurt and um, and uh, and hindered you from living your authentic self you are still in this process of transition to understand and become uh, uh, become your self again like to start feeling yourself again and you are doing work on that that is what the present is currently you are working on bettering yourself you are working on yourself and trying to heal trying to recover out of all the past wounds and problems that that happened in the past that is what you are doing or dealing with right now and the future is sort of just um uh the card is the high priestess and the king of wands the energy is like it is going to drastically shift like you cannot believe who you were at this point in the past the energy is that that much shifted like wow i don't recognize myself back back then i don't recognize her or him what was wrong with that person why did i go through so much why did i allow this people to uh, to 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 walk all over me why did i do that like you don't recognize this person like complete uh, 360 degree um shift like you are a brand new person here like you understand things you intuitively pick up on energies you understand who is right for you who is not you know how to set up a boundary you know what is good for you 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 sort of understand and and recognize your worth and this king of wands here like um is like you own you own your story you start writing your own story and not anybody else play with it ever again because of thanks to the past because it taught you all the lessons that was necessary for you to become get into the king of wands energy from the three of pentacles that being um uh, internship sort of energy where you're still learning maybe you are following somebody uh, like a like a like an icon or uh, or you're following someone um, uh, you know i'm seeing a motivational people like jim ron or wayne dyer i don't know whom you're following or you're reading maybe you're reading a lot of books you're watching a lot of videos you're uh, watching a uh, or you're you're you have subscribed to a lot of audio programs that is going to empower you help you to understand how to build your life how to become your best version but there is something in the in the state of making in the stage of making getting prepared to to get into this future energy of completely owning your story like no bullshit from anybody anymore like i know what to do i am very clear in my mind what is that i need and i trust in the universe i trust in the god that i believe in that they are going to help me become or help me in whatever that i want to pursue whatever that i want to bring into your life and that belief in yourself is going to change your life completely like completely unrecognizable uh, if if you meet any i mean your future if you meet any of your current friends or the friends in the past they are like wow what happened to you how did you change and turn your life around so much what changed and you will be like shrugging and telling nothing much i started believing in myself and believing in the universe and things started falling into place and yeah that is exactly how your future uh, looks like as of now <laughs> uh, you know let's pull some oracle cards i'm so sorry 
uh, I'll pull some uh, more oracle cards to add a little bit more to your future. <clears throat> the moonlight. Bone collector. And then metamorphosis. Look at that. <laughs> the metamorphosis on your future uh Position. That is exactly what is happening. The past is look like sadness enveloped in this grief, this blue gray energy where wow, I'm stuck in this quicksand. And then here in the bone correct bone collector, it's like time heals all the wounds. And also this peacock feather is catching my attention, like you recognizing your standards, you collecting all these uh, past experiences and turning it as a fuel uh, to to uh, help help you move forward with grace and then metamorphosis this is this is the transformation this is the ultimate transformation of you as a brand new person uh, right so that is a beautiful confirmation that that is what is happening you're going through a metamorphosis you are becoming like unrecognizable that is what it is a butterfly or um, you know like wow that's 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 amazing so the last card for you is angel with flower garland i'm the magic in your heart open your mind and listen shine out to others around you this is the time for you to shine the future is about you shining your light your light is getting brighter uh, you know like uh, the old copper vessel it is all dull and dust uh, and once you wash it and clean it 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 it, it sparkles like um like you're being cleansed and cleaned and raising your vibration like i i don't know it's very difficult to explain but but it it is still you but the higher brighter beautiful sparkling bright version that's that's just amazing group number 2 Oh wow, my heart is filled with so much of love for you right now and I re I'm really sending it towards you. I wish you all the best and this is your reading. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. If you have enjoyed, if you have not subscribed already, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. See you in my next video. Love you all. Take care. Bye-bye. Welcome group number three. If you have selected this backing of the Oracle card, this reading is for you. So I will shuffle and pull the cards for your past, present and future. So this is going to be your past. This is going to be your present. And this is going to be your future. And I'll also be pulling some more cards from Raider Wait Smith Tarot. So this is your past, your present and the future. All right. Okay, the five of cups, hermit and your current position, five of pentacles and four of wands. Hmm, interesting. And future the lovers and king of pentacles okay the past we have the five of cups this is some sort of loss some sort of uh, i'm sorry this is not for everybody but i'm getting this energy of a particular uh, viewer probably you lost somebody like death If, if that is the case, I'm so sorry for your loss that happened uh, in the past and the hermit mode. This energy puts you in the state of soul searching, like trying to ask the big questions and trying to understand where, what, what the heck is life? What is going on? Uh, or for others of you, this is a major loss or some sort of um, belief shattering sort of a situation where what one what you thought was true it sort of turned out to be completely different it really broke your heart like it took you to the state of grief uh, like completely 
unknown left you sort of cold trying to understand and figure out why the hell did this happen with me why it is with me uh, and that is sort of the hermit energy uh, you know past and i'm also sensing that it is still uh, carrying a little bit in the present as well although you feel like you have made a little bit of progress actually you have made a progress it is not that you haven't but uh, you are still carrying this energy and it is still underlying because the four of pentacles is like the underneath energy is five of pentacles again this is left in cold deserted like somebody ditched you somebody uh, really betrayed you uh, hurt you real real bad like cut you deep and of course this is going to take a lot of time for you to heal out of this pain and wound and and all that that happened the grief that you're going through but this is a progress for of pentacles you are you are not completely in grief energy you have moved a little bit you are trying to carry on with your life but this burden you are still dragging along with you and you are not ready to release it yet like you are still asking questions like why why this is happening with me what what do i have to do to get out of this energy i'm tired of feeling stuck i'm tired of uh, you know uh, not not being able to move forward and um, this is sort of stuck in uh, you know sort of stuffy energy but you are transitioning this is not bad uh, state to be in considering this one where you were completely and utterly grieving uh, you know and trying to uh, understand or trying to find uh, uh, light in the darkness sort of energy and here you sort of moving on but you're still in the transition you have not completely gotten over from your past and currently you are still trying to uh, release all that burden that you're holding on to and you are still sort of um maybe blaming yourself for some of you uh, how did i trust this person how could i not see this coming uh, this wasn't supposed to happen this wasn't planned i wasn't ready for this and and you're still carrying on with your life it is not like you you have stopped living but uh, but you still are not completely out of it and the future we have the lovers and there is a major transition that has happened from present to the future i want to pull some more cards um the transition they are not very clear they have not given much information in between for you for group number 1 and 2 the cards that we pulled was more than sufficient for us to understand what happened in between okay something major shift that happens here this is an interesting story okay this is the shift in energy the page of wands like you start feeling hopeful again you start feeling uh, that love for life again so the energy is going to shift as of now if you are still feeling blank and oh my god i don't know what is going to happen to me um this energy is going to shift and we have the hanged man this is perspective shift this is looking things in a different perspective or a different dimension or different facet of the situation that probably you understand in a better way um and the energy shifts here from hanged man and the page of wands you start to see things differently like uh you find all the answers that you are looking for there is going to be the missing piece of the puzzle like you you understand why this happened and this is not getting the answer from the other person uh this is finding the answers within because uh, uh no no answers that no answers are available outside of us it is always within us and this hermit the hanged man these energies are really helping you to get the answer that you require to shift your perspective and sort of get a closure and this chapter will be closed once and for all and you sort of move on from this shift your perspective change your ideas change your beliefs change your um um 
the overall outlook towards life and the new energy comes in which is leading you to the future which is lovers card we have there and then we have the king of wands you will be very greatly rewarded in the future for all that uh, pain and problem that you endured group number three nothing will go waste so that is something your guides and angels want to tell you all that you're going through is to teach you is to help you uh to grow, to evolve, to become the highest version of yourself so that we can replace what you have lost with something greater, something bigger, something more um, um, meaningful and uh, in resonance with your soul, in resonance with your truth and do not worry, the energies are going to shift. Even now, if you're struggling to find answers, this is the future and that is exactly why this reading uh, is important right now and why I was called to do this reading to sort of give you the glimpse of what, what future is holding for you so that you will be hopeful and uh, though it is dark right now, you will you will hold on to hope and move forward all right so let me pull uh, some more cards for your future energy and see and get some more glimpses of your future yeah regeneration look at that card burned down to the ground but it is regenerating it is picking up energy and it is this time it is going to grow stronger all right and the best possible outcome for the future imagine whatever the best outcome that you can imagine right now it is Wow, look at that. You will be blessed abundantly, group number three. Do not worry. What you're going through is not forever, all right? Things are going to definitely change because you're regenerating and you're trying. And it is hard to imagine it right now to see this blessed state. I totally get it and I understand. But... But it is there. It, the future, that is what it holds because um, it's it's like a reward for all that you have endured and all that you have learned out of this uh, situation all right so absolutely blessed events ahead and uh, even though you cannot imagine it at the moment it is very much available to you once you reach this state one last card Okay, so group two also got this card, Angel with Flower Garland. So it is like a, they, they are sort of wanting to hug you and send you their love and these flowers and all that towards you to help you uh, feel better. Like I am the magic. They want you to know that you are the magic. Like uh, open your mind and listen and shine out to others around you. Like you are going to be all right. That is what this reading is all about. So don't lose hope don't give up on yourself things are going to get better and you will be taken care nothing is going to go waste there is hope there is light and you are going to um, get that it is just a matter of time because the regeneration look at this card the regeneration it is going to take some time look at the brand new leaves this is what is happening right now. So the blessed events are waiting to enter into your life. So do not lose hope. All right. Yeah, that's all I'm getting for you. Group number three, sending out a lot of hugs and blessings to you. Take care. If you have liked the video,